I already hate this. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I'm just going to do this the whole time so you can't put this in the show. Day 43 was a Monday, which meant another workout with Laura. Chris and I were both in some back pain, and my arms still kind of hurt from boxing on Friday. I think I might have a little tendonitis in my elbow. Don't mind the indie star photographer, by the way. We're, we're just, you know, kind of a big deal. Oh, I forgot I'm going to be photographed today. Maybe I shouldn't have worn my headband. Anyway, we started by retesting some of our metrics. First, it was pull-ups. I did 13 and Chris did 6, although, to be fair, I, I do have more band assistance. Then we tested our heart rates after a minute on the rower. Mine was 154 in an average of 310 watts, and Chris's was 140 at an average of 240 watts. And then we did these standing jumps, which are, are not starting to feel dangerous at all. This is your max right here. It's pretty close. Whoops. So even though I technically failed at 13 risers, I did manage to actually get up to 14. <laughs> That's gonna be it. Chris made it to 16. We're getting quite good at this. Now, if we ever get transported into an action movie, I don't doubt our ability to jump from one rooftop to another while being chased by the bad guy. And really, that's what this whole project is all about. Easy, like J.J. Ah! Watt. I wasn't even close. Then it was time for wall sits. Chris has gotten a little bit self-assured about this metric. Maybe we could, can we watch like, do you have like an episode of The Walking Dead or something? Seriously. Can we just watch the second season of Lost? My wall sit has improved by another 15 seconds, so I'm now at one minute, 30 seconds. Chris literally did this for four minutes. Cutting into our workout time. I mean, he's just focused. 340. He goes to his zen place. What are you thinking about when you wall sit? What do, what do I think about when I wall sit? Think about all the people who wall set before me <laughs> and made it possible for me to sit on that wall that day. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Is that Tom Cruise or Jack Nicholson? There are four minutes. Four minutes. Thank you, Lord. All Laura. right. <laughs> After that, we started with stations. We did planks and burpees and crunches and some cardio. Then we did some partner abs. And for the record, I really don't like using these gliders. Like, Laura claims that I've improved a lot, but I'm not sure I've made improvements in the one area that counts the most, not looking ridiculous on camera. At the end of the session, Laura had us do two and a half minutes of planks, but we'd move every 30 seconds. We did a standard plank and then side planks a high plank, and one while rocking back and forth. According to Laura, crossfitters do five minutes of planks. But I, on the other hand, collapsed before we could get through two and a half minutes. Overall, this workout was fun, but I didn't eat great on Sunday because I wasn't tracking my food, and I felt like I didn't have as much energy as I wanted. It's so obvious to me that how I eat affects my energy levels and my health, and yet I cannot seem to make good choices. That noted, I did have some good meals after the workout, which you can see here, and here's some of Chris's day 43. Food. Day 44 was another self-directed exercise day. I ran for about 30 minutes at a 9 minute 30 second pace, which I felt pretty good about. That's real progress for me. And here's some of my food. As you can see, my dog Willie was pretty jealous of this egg sandwich I ate. On day 45, we had yet another self-directed exercise day, so Chris and I decided to play ping pong. Oh, great shot. One game to Chris in this best of 13 series. It would have been. Oh, my first slam, I did it! To all, this best of 19 series. Oh! oh. This side's won every time. Good game. Start my run. Nope. Woo! Nope. 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 Yeah, that was on that Wrong side. side, no. No, that was that side. It was definitely on your it side. It was? Yes, 100%. 100%. When you go back and look at it, you're gonna be like, that was not even close. <laughs> that was in. That was in. <laughs> that was in. Wow, I got stuck. To be fair, I got stuck on my own pants. I hit it. <laughs> that was... 13 14. Oh! <sighs> Champion. That was a good game. 
Congratulations. At the end of the day, ping pong wasn't physically challenging. As you might remember from earlier in the show, though, Dr. Aaron Carroll has said that to get the benefits of exercise, you really only need to do moderate intensity exercise. That's something like walking quickly for 30 minutes a day, five days a week, or even playing doubles tennis. But I don't think I quite got to the doubles tennis level of exertion while playing ping pong. Now, I know people who are much more physical ping pong players, but I don't incorporate my body much. I'm mostly just like raising my paddle this way or that and then flicking my wrist. Ping pong champion right here. I don't like to brag, uh, but I did finally win something. Ping pong. I don't think it was exercise. Of course it's exercise. I mean, it's not like ex it's not like going and running a marathon, but it's much better to get up and play ping pong than sit on the couch and watch Harry Potter. And also, there's another competition I continue to win at, 100 days participant who consistently takes the most pictures of their food. Here are two things I ate on day 45 versus the zero pictures that Chris took. Speaking of which, we've decided that whenever Chris and I fail to photograph our food, instead of seeing pictures of question marks, you will now see pictures of Chris and me looking ridiculous. So we'll see if that motivates us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on day 46. There are all these jokes in the show about how like it's not a competition and it's a good thing it isn't because here's Chris finishing half a lap ahead of me. This is the closest we've ever been to properly well, we're, We've always been very even properly at ping matched. Pong. Yeah. This and probably writing are the two things we're most <laughs> equal in. 8-3.